Let me run the second one. Do it. That is why I said I will go the first one. Okay. Let's go move to the Imam's side. Where are we going? डायरेक्ट इसको कुछ ताल ना मार दे तार को नेट ठीक हो गया इट्स इन स्लो इंटरनेट पर दैट्स वन इज इट फाइन क्या तो सोर मुझे जस्ट डोंट वांट मी टू कम इन इट इट इंटर टू है ना इस तरह इलेक्ट्रिक कंडीशन सब
you know, this is the time that Shaitan will come and try to make us lazy. This is the time when no one is expecting us to maintain the same exact fervor and level of worship that we had in the month of Ramadan. Let's first also make sure we're doing the mandatory prayers and we are giving them their due right. And we are concentrating and we are getting will make us believe that, uh, you know, um, we're not getting out of Salah. We're doing this just for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sake. Salah is there for us. It is prescribed five times a day for us to maintain that link with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we are some of the benefits we get out of the prayer. For example, scholars have commented that is the standing portion of the prayer where we recite chapter 1 of the Quran, Surah Al-Fatiha, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, and then after that, and they have said that, you know, when you are standing in the prayer, the day of judgment, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is in total control on judgment day. And so, subhanahu wa ta'ala in this world, they mean the salah, they mean the prayer. And they say if you do that, and you're standing in front of Allah on judgment day, will go smooth. You know, Prophet Muhammad says, so amongst the first things we'll be asked about, on, that, you know, gets us in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's grace, but it's also the benefits of that, right? Because Islam, Allah, okay, even if we just do the mandatory and we, we concentrate, then as the Quran says, in the salat tanha an al fahshai wal munkar you know, uh, basically not acting appropriately. Not acting appropriately. Not committing uh, zina, fornication. Reinforce your internal modesty. Your desire to be a civil human being. To be an upright human being. You want to steal from somebody. But you are praying five times a day. Maybe if you're planning that, what, what do you, you want to have to plan what time someone uh, they want to do they want to drink alcohol are they going to plan oh if I do it after Asr I can't I won't be able to come in and you pray and you you remember Malik Yomidin means Allah is in control of judgment day just like I'm standing you're going to confront them and the way you're going to confront them it's not correct it's too full of anger Yes, if someone has done wrong to you, you have a right to demand your rights. You intimidate them, or you're going to yell at them and say things to them that are not allowed. You remember the prayer leading up to that. Every, just like a movie, TV show, everything is about the angry. Or maybe you're so happy. You're in such a good situation. You have Maybe you were struggling financially, then you get a bunch of money. Or you get a bunch of I don't know what's out, he'll ask me about how I use my money. Was there somebody in need? Was there someone in my family who needed it? Because we would hold back when we're angry. We wouldn't just be kinder because we know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He likes this. You know, a simple example we can look at, you may say, you know, A man who Prophet Muhammad said, if there's going to be another Prophet after me, it's going to be him. A man who at the time, no more mean what was known to Asia, Europe, Africa. Uh, he was in charge of that. It's because they accepted Islam. And he stopped. And she said, is it because you felt pity? He said, no, because I became tired. That's who he was before Islam. Misinformed and wrong about that in which he would obviously come to realize but at the same time you know because of his product what did he say he said i will be the person who stands up from the weak for the weak people if the strong try to oppress them and if the weak people try to oppress them we know the famous story which is he had him, himself what did he do you would normally think if it's like somebody like me i would take the horse or the one third for his servant to ride while he's walking, and man, it did that to him. It changed and made him a much more positive person. Sometimes we forget that. <clears throat> and the last thing I want to remind us is Prophet Muhammad, 
O Bilal, establish the prayer, you know, call the Aqama, so that we can relax from the prayer. We can relax. We do have a lot. Maybe you're worried about exams. Maybe you're worried about your classmates. Maybe you're worried about something. And as you become an adult, invest in our prayer. Remind ourselves how we were concentrating in Ramadan. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the tawfiq. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Ladi Anzala Ala Abdil Kitaba, Walam Yajal Lahu Riba Ali Muhammad, Kama Solaita Ala Ibrahim, Wala Ali Ibrahim, Nafi Majid, Robana Athena Tuala Ladina Min Kablina, Robana Wala Hamdina Mala Tafatalana Bi, Waku Anna, Wakur Lana, Wakhamna, and the Mogana, Bunsul Narod from the Kafirin. Amin Ya Allah, for those who are sick, Ya Allah, we ask you to grant them a complete healing and to make an expiation for their sins and grant them and their loved ones patience. Ya Allah, for cure and to make them patient until that occurs. Ya Allah, for those who are suffering all, the, all around the world, Ya Allah, we ask you to remove their suffering and to grant them justice in this world. Especially our Muslim brothers in uh, Palestine, China, and all around the world where they are suffering. Amin. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Shabbat Ya Ilaha Illallah, Ashhadu Anna Muhammad Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim An'amta alayhim Ghayri al-Mahdubi alayhim Walad-Qalbin Al-Qabri wa-Salah Inna Allah ma'a-Qabirin Wala ta'kulu liman yuqtal Fi sabili Allahi amwa Min al-Qawfi wal-Juhi Wa naqsim min al-Amwal وَنَقُصٍ مِنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنْفُسِ وَإِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ أُولَئِكَ عَلَيْهِمْ صَلَاتٍ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ اللَّهُ أَكْبَرُ Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.